Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about a very serious topic. A topic that I used to suffer from and many of you may still suffer from this today. And that's the topic of barely getting any likes on your Instagram pictures. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if it was the pictures or the lighting or the followers. I thought I needed more followers. As you guys can see up here on the screen, I have a picture posted of me and my friends before I started getting Instagram likes versus a picture of me over here after I started getting Instagram likes. Yeah, just kidding. But on a more serious note, you guys, engagement on Instagram is way more important than how many followers you have. I think we all can agree it doesn't really matter how many followers you have if those people aren't liking your content. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys three simple things to do to increase your engagement right after you have posted to Instagram. So step number one is immediately after you have made your post on Instagram, whether that's a video or a picture, the next thing to do is to post that into your story. Now I see a lot of people doing this already, but if you're not, I wanted to make you aware of it because it is essential to get people from your story to your post because Instagram's algorithm has been really tricky lately. And so sometimes people don't see your posts, but they look at your stories. So if they look at your story and your story is telling them, hey, go check out my last post, then they're more likely to click on that story which takes them directly to your post and gives them a chance to like it or comment on it. If you guys by chance don't know how to post your picture to your story, follow along right here in the screen share as I'm gonna show you guys step by step how to do it. Another thing that's important is to cover up the image and create a call to action. Instead of just showing them the post on your story, it's important to cover it up and create some, some wonder, some curiosity about what you posted. Because here's the thing, if you just take your post and you put it on your story, people are gonna look at your story and they're gonna be like, oh, that's the new post. And they're not necessarily gonna even want to go to your picture and actually like it or comment. And that's the whole point of this, right? Is to create engagement. So the whole point of posting your picture or video to your story is to get those people from the stories over to your picture or video. We want them to like it or we want them to comment or both. So how I go about this is I usually will post this to my story and then I'll cover it up with something such as, you know, a bitmoji, something that creates curiosity, gets them to think, you know, oh, I wanna actually see what that picture or what that video is. So you wanna give like a sneak peek, but you wanna leave the rest up to their imagination. So they actually have to click on it and go straight to your post and see what that post is about. There are many ways you guys can go about this. You can look up new post, you can look up tap here. You could even add a bitmoji and place it over you know with like question marks or something like that to to get people over to the post because that's the whole point of it is to get people from your story to your post to engage on it another thing that i do is i put a hashtag in the story so sometimes i'll put hashtag new post if it's about the gym i'll put hashtag gym life if it's about business i'll put hashtag business or hashtag entrepreneur that way your post is also getting seen by people that don't follow you so for example maybe somebody's looking through random hashtags and they happen to come across your post on your story and it's kind of covering up the picture and they're like hey what is this maybe they want to click on it it takes them straight to your page and now you have a random person that's on your page which could potentially be another follower another person that engages on your page. And one more thing you guys could add to this story is maybe ask them to go like it. Like it doesn't hurt to ask and you may get more people going to your picture and actually liking it and supporting you if they're a true follower and a true friend because they wanna support you and they wanna show you the love. If you're asking nicely, hey, please go like my last post, maybe go drop a comment, something that is pushing them to do something but obviously in a nice way. Step number two is engage on other people's recent posts. This could mean a variety of things. This could mean go to random hashtags such as like for like, follow for follow, comment for comment, like I've talked in previous videos, and start liking it up, commenting on people's pictures, and really showing the love because a lot of times when people post hashtags such as like for like or comment for comment, they are trying to get engagement on their posts. So by you showing them love, a lot of times they will show you love back. And another form of engagement, which I think is more important than going on like for like, like, comment for comment and randomly liking other people's content is to like your own followers content remember this is the audience that you want engaging
engaging on your posts. So the best thing that you can do is go onto the main feed, refresh the page, and start scrolling and double tapping and commenting on people's pictures that you follow. And most likely they wanna see you have success with your posts, so they're gonna go show the love back on your account if you guys show the love on their account. And I know I've touched on this in other videos, but don't forget when people comment on your post to like the comment as well as respond to them because it's so important that you're engaging with them. This is gonna boost you higher on the Instagram algorithm. They're gonna see that there's engagement, not just likes, but there's also comments on your post. So they're gonna push that content out to other people, not necessarily just your followers. One more thing that people look over when it comes to getting likes on their posts. Let's say I just posted a picture and I get like 10 likes in the first minute. One thing that's really important is to go and engage on those people's pages because here's the thing, when they like your content and you immediately see that, you jump over to their page, don't just like one of their pictures, like like five of them. Show them, hey, I see you liking my picture, I'm gonna go show you love on your page. That way in the future, whenever you post a picture, this person's gonna keep in mind, hey, I remember when they blew up my page and they're gonna consistently like your posts and eventually hopefully comment on them as well. And finally, step number three, something that I have not talked about too much on this channel, which is cross promoting. Now, whenever you post a picture on your Instagram, you post a story, you start to engage, but going along with posting in your story, don't forget it's so important that you have random audiences, right? You have different audience with Facebook, you have a different audience with Snapchat, you have a different audience with Twitter, if you guys still use Twitter. I mean, I don't really post on Twitter too much, but it is still an audience that could potentially like your Instagram picture. So with that being said, after you post your picture on your story on Instagram, do the same thing for Snapchat. Screenshot your post on Instagram, post it on your Snapchat story, but don't give away the whole picture. You want to create that curiosity. Most of the time when you have people following you on Instagram, a lot of times those people will also follow you on Snapchat. So if they're not on Instagram when you post your picture and they potentially are on Snapchat, you can most likely get that traffic over to your Instagram page. If you guys are gonna use Twitter to cross promote, I would say don't show the picture, just show the link. That way people are more inclined to click the link, be taken over to Instagram rather than seeing the picture on Twitter that you posted on Instagram. That way rather than just hearting the picture on Twitter, they actually have to click the link, go over to your Instagram page, see the picture and then take action on it. And when it comes to Twitter, using a lot of emojis really gets people's minds wondering, especially if it's about shoes, maybe put, you know, the emoji shoes and the emoji fire, something that really just kicks up the imagination and makes people wonder what you posted about. And the third platform is Facebook. A lot of people still don't use Facebook stories. I know I have not used them that much, but I think that this is super good because a lot of people have a lot of friends on Facebook. And since Instagram is owned by Facebook, Instagram is going to notice that people are coming over from Facebook onto your Instagram page and they're just gonna recognize you more and boost you higher in the algorithm. And to be honest, you guys, I really have not tried the strategy on Facebook stories. I don't even think I've posted more than like two stories on Facebook, but after all, Instagram is owned by Facebook, so we have to show respect to Facebook and give them that credibility. So to sum everything up, you guys, post that picture to your story, cover it up, create some wonder, create some curiosity. Number two, engage on other people's content. You guys should be doing this regardless, but especially right after you post a picture, engage on other people's content. And number three, cross promote your picture. That way other people on other platforms such as Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook can see that you just posted on Instagram and hopefully they will come to your page and like your picture and comment on it. So that's all I have for you today, guys. Drop a fat like if you found this content to be helpful. Drop a dislike if you hated the video. Don't forget to hit that button right there. Subscribe for weekly content and drop a comment down below to engage. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.